Last summer, while I was experimenting with growing cordyceps on eggs, I noticed these fruit flies attempting to get into the containers to eat the mycelium. And it got me thinking. That is a stupid idea. With a new experiment bubbling in my brain, I went around the house to see if I could find a collection of flies to inoculate. And it wasn't very difficult because I hate spiders and I hate hoovering. I accumulated a collection of flies and these were the best specimens I could find. I was particularly interested in the larger fly because it would make for a good time lapse. However, I knew I needed something which could stand by itself and was stable for this. And I was desperate for this fly to work. Absolutely desperate. So after wasting about 10 minutes on that large fly, I decided to go with this little one which actually stood up quite well and was very stable. I moved the fly into my still air box. I gave the fly a bath in alcohol just to get rid of any germs that might be on the outside. I'm not really sure if it's necessary, but I did it anyway. I also cleaned the container with alcohol and then allowed the fly and the container to dry. And then I inoculated the fly with Cordyceps liquid culture. I knew as soon as I basically smothered the whole fly in liquid culture that this was going to fail. Instead, I ended up with like the fly equivalent of Han Solo when he gets frozen in carbonite. And I'd thrown all of the specimens away, but luckily, a few days later, my dog had cornered a fly in the living room. And this fly was in no hurry to get away from the dog no matter how close he got, so I was of the assumption it would be dead in the next couple of days. And eventually...
This time the growth looked much better and was more in line with photos I'd typically seen of cordyceps on insects. However, still no fruits and until now there weren't any guides on how to complete the process. So I had to think about this for a moment and I realised I needed a fruiting chamber. So we're going to create a tiny microclimate. To do this, I mixed 50% perlite and 50% vermiculite and put it in the bottom of the container and then I added just a few millilitres of water. And you can see as soon as the lid goes on the container there is condensation inside the container so this looks like a perfect microclimate for mushrooms to grow. I sterilized the container for about 10 minutes in my pressure cooker because if mushrooms can grow in this container then mold will grow in this container so this time I did a proper sterilization of the container and I inoculated the fly. Now I must warn you, dead zombified flies aren't the most lively of characters, so I'm going to have to step in and bring a little bit of animation to the scene myself.